there. You just caught me in my Christmas kimono having a glass of Christmas oat milk. Cheers. I'm sure what's at the top of all your Christmas lists for Santa is to find out my Christmas traditions and you're in luck because that's what today's vlog is all about. Oh, and don't forget, it's the Q&A next week and it's not too late to leave some questions below. Cheers. One tradition we share with many people uh, in the population is going to Panto. Um, this will be our third year in succession. Before that, I hadn't been to Panto for probably 20, 25 years. Obviously, I used to go a lot when I was a kid. Uh, my main memory of that is going to Panto at the Hazlitt Theatre in Maidstone. One year, I can't remember which Panto it was, but one year I got called on stage by the great small person actor, Rusty Goff. Uh, he called me on stage as, uh, as the cutest child in the theatre, of course. He gave me a packet of crisps, sent me off on my way, and called me back, gave me another packet of crisps, and then called me back, gave me another packet of crisps. This went on for quite a long time, culminating in giving me a whole box full of uh, packets of crisps, which had a false bottom and they went everywhere and the audience all laughed. And uh, eventually I was allowed to leave the stage again. Uh, they don't allow stuff like that anymore on pantos they don't allow that sort of child abuse anymore but nevertheless i'm really looking forward to it greenwich does a fantastic panto last year it was uh, robinson crusoe that classic christmas story this year it's sleeping beauty and we've decided to add one brand new tradition this year we're going by boat <laughs> Because as the old saying goes, nothing is festiver than going by river. Famously, Santa delivers his presents by boat in Venice, the Maldives and of course the Lake District. So in that way, we're sort of honouring his memory. We're halfway through. Leo, tell everyone, what was it like? What's it like so far? Another amazing pantomime at Greenwich. It was incredible, Sleeping Beauty, but it went from Greenwich to Russia to the moon and back with the Beatles and the Proclaimers and Bowie. Uh, if if um, This might be too late, but you should all go and see it. It's fantastic. It's the best panto on earth. This delivery came from the Wine Society. I've been a member of the Wine Society for years. 40 pounds, lifetime membership. And it's not a wine scam. You don't have to buy any wine if you don't want to. You don't have to buy it monthly or even yearly. Just whenever you want to buy wine, you can buy wine. And good quality wine as well. And they're not interested in profit. It's all really well priced and it's not expensive. I can't recommend it enough. The Wine Society would like to make it clear that they did not pay for this endorsement either through money or free wine. In fact, the Wine Society is not even aware of this endorsement, despite issuing this statement about this endorsement. The Wine Society. Proud supplies of wine to Wine Society members since 1874. Find us, wine us and dine us at thewinesociety.com. This is not a paid-for endorsement. Christmas is a really important time for Wine Society members like me because we get to choose the wine for our family for the Christmas dinner. Here's my, this is my order for the Christmas dinner. It's, gonna, it's a bit different in, in our, our house because we've got different people with different diets. So we'll probably all start with a smoked salmon starter. Um, I like to have that with a, not with this one, with a nice shabby. But I have bought a rosé because rosé is very popular. Here's a nice rosé. And then 
Um, the Meat Eaters have Beef Wellington, which is probably that one, can't remember. But the important thing is, it looks like I know what I'm talking about. And then for the Fish Eaters, I think it's this one. I've got a nice red that goes with fish for once here. Now I haven't really got a clue what I'm talking about, but the fantastic thing about being a member of a wine society is that it looks like you know what you're talking about. And in the end, isn't that the most important thing? Yeah, it's another Christmas tradition. I'm uh, at the school fair doing the Christmas decoration store. I can't show you what it's like because it's other people's children here, but I'm wearing this. We're in Kew Gardens. That's a set of gardens based in Kew. Um, this tradition for us dates back to 2018. We love to come here to look at the lights, listen to the music, and admire the slightly odd commercial installations and also enjoy a bit of mulled wine. Marshmallow in one word. What word would that be? spent a Sunday afternoon doing a real cliched Christmas tradition, but we still love doing it. We've done a domino rally with a Christmas theme. Yeah, yeah, it's a Christmas tree, yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Christmas ruined. Well, that's all my Christmas traditions taken care of. Well, the ones I'm willing to put on YouTube anyway. It just remains for me to wish all of you, my fantastic viewers and subscribers, a very, 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 very Merry Christmas.